Well, okay, welcome to Porchinet. This is Kim. I'm getting my camera fixed, but welcome to Porchinet. Here, I'm gonna put you right here. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome to my porch. This is Kim again. I call it Porchinet because we're Porchinet. We're on the porch, Porchinet. And we're enjoying the Word of God. We're enjoying the scenery. We're enjoying the flowers, the the birds in the in the that we hear, and the trees that are blowing, the sunshine, the, the just the good feel of being on a porch. And so um, we're getting in the Word, and this is where we started this years ago, and we're still going for with it. And it's such an exciting time because. Jesus is coming back soon and he is so excited and God is getting his children ready. We're uniting as one for the first time in many years. We are actually uniting as one because of all the things that are going on in the world that are so contrary to God. And um, God's will and way is in his people. And that's why we're uniting because we are in one accord with one spirit, one Lord, one God one hope, one calling of our call. And this is an exciting time to live. And God is leading us, he is guiding us. We are reading the word together and we are pressing in and nothing's gonna stop us. We're a, a troop going forward, a tribe of the Son of God. And we're a troop going forward. We're listening and we're obeying. So as we get in the word, we listen and obey, whether it's in the New Testament or the Old, right now we're in the Old Testament, we are learning stories that happened with men of God and we are learning about them and learning how to deal with our lives with the Lord and have faith, just have faith like they did. And so we are getting today is day 145 and it's 1 Corinthians 23 through 25. So come with me to 1 Corinthians 23 through 25, and we're reading um, out of the Amplified Bible, so we can amplify what we're reading. And I'm, I noticed there's a lot of um, names, and I'm going to just read it, and I'm gonna Skip the names, I'll, I'll say how many brothers or how many sons, but I'm not gonna say the names because there's so many names and I don't like the way I, I try to say it, but I know that I'm not saying the names right. So I'm just gonna count how many sons there were. So you'll know, but this is an amplified Bible, so you get more of an amplified effect. And, um, and just let's pray, Lord, we thank you for this, evening and we thank you for your word to us thank you for the many days that we've been doing this and the time that we have had to get in your word together and that you speak to each one of our hearts as we are reading together we thank you that you give us a desire to get in your word more a hunger for your word because it's life to our spirit and we know that it will heal our bodies and restore our soul our body and our soul will be restored and healed when we get the word of God in full, because we are a spirit, we live in a body, and we have a soul. So Lord, we want you to be the Lord, the Lord over our soul, over our bodies, over us, our spirit, and we just give you glory. Speak through my mouth, Lord, as I, as I read. Give me words to maybe amplify what's amplified here. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay. First Chronicles 23, when David was old and full of days, he made Solomon his son king over Israel. David assembled all the leaders of Israel <coughs> with the priests and Levites. The Levites, 30 years old and upward, numbered many, man by man, 38,000, of whom 24,000 were to oversee the work of the house of the Lord. 6,000 were to be officers and judges. And said David, 4,000 shall be gatekeepers, and 4,000 are to praise the Lord with the instruments which I made for praise. Wow, 4,000 are gatekeepers, 4,000 are praisers. And David organized them in sections according to the sons of Levi. Okay, and he had one, two, three 
sons of the Gershonites, which had one, two, and then La the sons of Laden, one, two, three, the sons of Shammai, one, two, three in all. These were the heads of the father's house of Laden. And the sons of Shammai, one, two, three, four, of these four sons of Shammai. Jahath was chief and so one of them was a chief and one did not have many sons, not enough for a father's house or clan. So they were counted together as one father's house. The sons of Kohath had one, two, three, four. The sons of Amram had one, two. Aaron was set apart to sanctify him as most holy and consecrate the most holy things that he and his sons forever might burn incense before the Lord and minister to him and bless in his name and the character which his name denotes forever. Now Aaron and Moses were brothers and Miriam. So they were the ones that actually, when you read about Moses and Aaron and Miriam, they were brother and sister, all of them. But the sons of Moses, the man of God, were named among the tribe of Levi. The sons of Moses was one, two. The sons of Gershom was one. The sons of Eleazar was one. And he had no sons. Eleazar, the son of Eleazar, had no other sons. He, he had one son, but no other sons. But his son had many sons. Okay. The sons of Ishar. This is good for us to learn this because to see this, how many sons they had, it was important. One, the sons of Hebron was one, two, three, four. The sons of Uziel was Micah the first and Isha the second. Micah. Micah is in the Bible, uh, a book in the Bible. The sons of Mari was one, two. The sons of Malai was two. Eleazar died and had no sons, but daughters only and three kinsmen. Sons of Kish took them as wives. The sons of Mushi was one, two, three. These were the Levites by their father's house, the heads of the father's house of those reject, registered. The sons of Mushi were Levites. They were registered according to the number of names of the individuals who were the servants of the house of the Lord from the 20 year old and upward. For David said, the Lord, the God of Israel has given peace and rest to his people and dwells in Jerusalem forever. That was verse 25. So the Levites were, were no more, no more had need to carry the tabernacle and all its vessels for its service. For by the last words and acts of David, these were the number of the Levites from 20 years old and above, but their duty should, should be to wait on the priests, the sons of Aaron, in the service of the house of the Lord, caring for the courts, the chambers, the cleansing, and all the holy things, and any work of the service of God's house, for the showbread also, and for the fine flour, for a cereal offering, whether of unleavened wafers or what is baked on the griddle, or soaked in oil for all the measures of the amount and size as the law of Moses required. These are also to stand every morning to thank and praise the Lord and likewise at evening, and to in assist in offering all burnt offerings to the Lord on Sabbaths, new moon festivals, and set feast days by number, according to the ordinance, according to them continually before the Lord. So they shall keep charge of the tent of meeting and the holy place and shall attend to the sons of Aaron, their kinsmen, for the service of the house of the Lord. Aaron, their kinsmen, which was part of the family, Moses' family, of course. And so see what they did. They continually were before the Lord. They were continually keeping charge of the tent of meeting and the holy place. <clears throat> so they were the Levites. Okay, chapter now chapter 24 and then 25. The courses, the courses or divisions 
of the priests, the sons of Aaron, were these, the sons of Aaron, one, two, three, four. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father had no children, before their father had children. Therefore Eleazar and Ithmar executed the priest's office. And David with Zadok of the sons of Eleazar and Amalek of the sons of Ithmar divided and distributed them according to their assigned duties. Since there were more chief men found among the sons of Eleazar because of the misfortunes of Eli and Saul's slaughter of the priest at Nob, then among the sons of Ithamar, they were divided thus, sixteen heads of fathers, houses of the sons of Eleazar, and eight of the sons of Ithamar according to their father's house. Thus were they divided by lot, one group with the one with the other, for there was chiefs of the sanctuary and chiefs of God, high priests drawn both from the sons of Eleazar and from the sons of Ithamar, Shem Shemiah, the scribe, son of Nathaniel, a Levite, recorded them in the presence of the king, the prin princess Zad Zadok, the priest, Amalek, sons of Abathar, the priest who escaped being killed at Nob by Saul and fled to David, and the heads of the father's house of the priest of the Levite, one father's house being taken for Eleazar and one for Ithmar. The lots fell, the first one to Jerob, the second to Jadai, the third to Haram, the fourth to Seorum, the fifth to Malja, the sixth to Majumin, the seventh to Haz, Haghaz, the eighth to Abijah, the ninth to Jeshua, the tenth to Shekema, the eleventh to Elishabab, to the twelfth to Jacob, the thirteenth to Hupa, the fourteenth to Jeshub, the fifteenth to Bilga, the sixteenth to Immer, the seventeenth to Hazir, the eighteenth to Hephazah, the 19th to Petha, the 20th to Jekal, the, the 21st to Jekin, and the 22nd to Gamal, the 23rd to Deliah, the 24th to Maziah. There, this was their order for coming on duty to serve in the house of the Lord according to the procedure ordered for them by their forefather. Aaron, as the Lord the God of Israel had commanded them, as for the rest of the sons of Levi, of the sons of Amram, Shubael of the sons of Shubael, Jehadiah, of Rehabiah, the sons of Rehabiah, Isha, the chief of the Israelites, there was one of the sons of the sons of Hebron, there was one, two, three, four, the sons of Uziel, Micah, and Shamir, of the son of Micah, Shamir, the brother of Micah, one, two, Zechariah, Ishai, and Zechariah, the sons of Merai, Mahalai, and Mushi, the sons of, of Jehaziah. The sons of Merai, one, two, three, four, five. Of Malai, Eleazar, who had no sons. Of Kish, the son of Kish. Jeremiah, the sons of Mushi, one, two, three. These were the sons of the Levites, according to their father's house. Likewise, they likewise cast lots, as did their kinsmen, the sons of Aaron, in the presence of David the king, and the heads of the father's house of the priests and Levites, the head of each house, and the younger brothers alike. Chapter 25. Also David and the chief of the host separated to the temple service some of the sons of Asaph, Heman, and Judathan, who would prophesy, being inspired with lyres, harps, and cymbals. The list of the musicians according to their service was the sons of Asaph, one, two, three, and four. The sons of Asaph, under the direction of Asaph, who prophesied, witnessed, and testified under divine inspiration, keeping with the king's orders. Of the sons of Juthon, one, two, three, four, five, six, under the direction of their father, who witnessed and prophesied 
under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, of the, under the inspiration, with the lyre in thanksgiving and praise to the Lord, of Haman, the sons of Haman, Buka, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All these were the sons of Haman, the king's seer, his mediator. In the words and things of God, to exalt him for God, gave to Haman 14, oh, 14 sons and three daughters, all of whom were in the choir under the direction of their father for song in the house of the Lord with cymbals, harps, lyres for the service of the house of God. Asaph, Judatham, and Haman were under the order of the king. So the number of them who led the remainder of the 4,000 with their kinsmen who were specially trained in songs for the Lord, all who were talented singers were 288 talented singers. The musicians cast lots for their duties, small and great, teachers and scholars alike. The first lot fell for Asaph to Joseph, the second to Gedaliah, to him, his brethren, and his sons, 12. The third to Zuccar, his sons, and his brethren, 12. The fourth to Isri, his sons, and his brethren, 12. The fifth to Nathaniah, his sons, and his brethren, 12. The sixth to Bukai, his sons, and his brethren, 12. The seventh to Jesharela, his sons, and his brethren, 12. The eighth to Jesh Jeshua, his sons, and his brethren, 12. The ninth to Matt. Naya, his sons, and his brethren, 12. The tw tenth to Shammai, his sons, and his brethren, 12. The eleventh to Azarel, his sons, and his brethren, 12. The twelfth to Hashbiah, his sons, and his brethren, 12. The thirteenth to Shubiel, his sons, and his brethren, 12. The fourteenth to Mattiah, his sons, and his brethren, 12. The fifteenth to Jeremoth, his sons, and brethren, 12. The sixteenth to Hananiah, his sons and his brethren, 12. The 17th to Josh, Joshua, his sons and brethren, 12. The 18th, Hanai, his sons and brethren, 12. The 19th, his sons and brethren. The 20th one, the, the 21st one, the 22nd one, the 23rd one, and the 25th, fourth one. His sons and his brethren, 12. And that's it. So... So we just bless the reading of the word, Lord. We thank you. There's a lot of names here, a lot of things, uh, names and, and how many sons and, and families and tribes and clans. And Lord, we know you are involved in all of it. And you brought out that many people in the very beginning of this chapter. You said 4,000 shall be gatekeepers and 4,000 to be praisers. And we thank you that you, that was a lot, Lord God, the Lord, the Levites, 30-year-old and upward numbered man by man, 38,000 Levites. 24,000 were overseeing the work of the Lord. 6,000 were to be officers and judges. 4,000 were to be gatekeepers and 4,000 to be praisers. Lord, all these people are special to you. All the positions are special to you and important to you, Lord. And Father, as we read these things, we thank you, Father, that you use the words, the songs, you use the instruments to prophesy and to proclaim the good things. You use others to be a seer, to see, to tell the man of God what they saw. You use each of us, Lord. You gave us gifts. And Lord, you have called us each by name. You have called us by name. We, we are yours. You said in Isaiah, when we walk through the water, we will not be drowned, and when we walk through the fire, we won't be burned, for you are with us. You are with us, and Lord, you we are not alone. You are with us, and you have called us by name, and you told us not to fear, because you have a call on each of us and a gift for each of us. And Lord, as here, I mean, this many people were called. God didn't leave any of them out. God knew how many and exactly who would be what, and if they would be Levites and priests and singers, if they would be gatekeepers, if they would be, you know, uh, judges and officers, if they would be um, overseers of the house of the, of the Lord, God, 
you know, there was 30 year old and upward with Levites. The Levites had some place. They were in the presence of God. They were important because they had to stay before the presence of God and hear God's voice and keep the sanctuary, keep the temple, keep it for the Lord and be, be the ones that were there listening to your voice, obeying what you said. So Father, we know that we each have a call and Lord, that one thing I know we're all called to do is get into your presence, spend time with you, reading our word, getting our, getting the voice of God for what you have for each of us to do every day. And Lord, once we find that out, we'll be able to go forth victoriously and confidently because we know who we are in you and who you are in us. And we give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. So remember, your words are your way to victory. And today, when I was watching my grandbaby, I saw the way him and his friend, his little buddy, they're only one, talk to each other. And they just go, uh, uh, they just have sounds. And when I was reading this, I'm like, wow, the sounds are important. And while I was watching the way they interacted, I was overjoyed. How much more God is overjoyed when he sees us interact and we get along. And we might, we don't even have to say words sometimes. We can just, it's our action. It's our look. It's how we share. It's how we give. It's how we, we receive. And that is what gives him glory. And so the sound, let the sound of God, you know, echo through, come through your, you. Let that sound deep inside come up and out and speak to God with psalms and hymns, spiritual songs, making melody in, the heart, in your heart to the Lord, making melody in your heart to the Lord with psalms, with hymns, and spiritual songs, making melody in the, with the Lord. And so remember, your words are, are your way to victory. I'll see you tomorrow on Fortunate.